Let me show you how to create WooCommerce website in just six easy steps. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful website and also I'll show you how to can customize it according to your products. You can see they have this beautiful menu on the top and this header section and we have logo in the middle. I will also show you how you can change the position of this logo to the left. And then this hero image here, which looks really nice. You can just replace this background image with your products or whatever industry you are in. And then we have this section here, which gives more information about your products. And then we have this feature section, which showcases the feature products on your website. Very nice whole effect on the images. And you can see add to cart button shows up. And somebody click on all products, they can go to all products page. And then we have this nicely created package section. You can use it for many different purposes. Then we have review section, which is really important for your website. In the end, we have the footer. If I go to the shop page, you can see all the products are here, which are very nicely organized. And this design looks stunning. No matter what kind of website you want to create, you can create any kind of website with this tutorial. And if I go to about page, you can see this about page. Everything's beautiful like this. And then we have contact page, very nicely organized contact page. You do not need to worry about how to arrange things for a contact page. Very nicely created form and the map. And then we have blog page. You can see the blog page looks really beautiful. So if you're using blog posts on your website, it's going to be really effective for you so people can come and read your blog post. And when somebody click on read more, you can see how beautiful this blog post looks. And in that we have FAQ section and FAQ section, you can see all the FAQ on the left side and on the right side we have form. And guys, don't worry. This is going to be a really easy tutorial for you. We're going to import complete ready-made website for you. And then I'll show you how to add that website. And don't worry if you're creating a WooCommerce website first time, you don't want to have technical knowledge. Don't worry about that. You will be able to create an e-commerce website with WooCommerce successfully when you watch this video. So let's start this video. And guys, if you think I speak too fast in the video, you can use YouTube controls to slow down the video. Or you think if I speak very slow, you can make the video faster. And guys, save this video to practice it every day. Okay, so let's get into the video and start with the first step to create e-commerce website using WooCommerce. So step one, we need to book your domain name and your hosting. So domain name is the name by which people can reach to your website. For example, Facebook domain name is facebook.com, Google domain name is google.com. And hosting is an online space where you store all your website related files like images, text files, or any other file which are necessary to create the website. To book domain name and hosting, click the first link in the description of this video. And I'll make sure that you get the best discount for domain name and hosting. So when you click on the first link in the description, you will come to this website, A2 Hosting. This is the best hosting for website speed. And even there's option to choose Lightspeed server, which is the fastest server available. And when you use WordPress with Lightspeed hosting, it's 20 times faster. I'll make sure you get the best discount. I keep updating those links. And then you can see here up to 20x faster website. I really prefer A2 Hosting for a lot of my projects and my clients projects. So click on get started. And then you'll find these different options here. Shared hosting, WordPress hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting. I suggest you if it's the first website, you do not have a lot of load on your website, then you just choose the shared hosting. Then click on view plans. So you have multiple plans here, startup, drive, turbo, boost, max. So I suggest you if you're starting with your website, you can choose the startup plan. So when you're starting your website, I think startup plan is perfect for you. You do not need to pay for drive or turbo boost. But if you really want, I suggest you to choose Turbo Boost, which is the best plan because they got NVMe SSD storage here. So for now, we are going to continue the tutorial with startup plan. So click on get startup and it is perfect for all the starting websites. Okay, then you come to this page. Here you have multiple options. So if you already own a domain name, you need to enter a domain name here and then click on use this domain. If you want to register a new domain, you can enter a domain you want here and then you can choose .com or all these extensions. Once you have chosen the right extension for you, then click on check availability. You will see if the domain is available, you can book the domain, but if it is not available, you will see this is unavailable. So choose a domain which is available. And for example, if you cannot decide your domain name, what you can do, you can use this option, use a temporary domain name from A2 Hosting. Just enter your name here, and then A2 Hosting will create a temporary domain for you. And then click on check availability. Okay, the temporary domain is available. And now we come to the checkout page, you can see here, we are registering for single website, 100 GB ultra fast SSD. This guy is really important whenever you book a hosting, check if it is SSD hosting or not. If it is SSD hosting, perfect. But if you see NVMe SSD, it's even better. Okay, you get unlimited transfer, unlimited email accounts, A2 website builder, not the best one, we are not going to use it. WordPress optimized. So in this hosting, WordPress optimized, so it loads much, much faster. You have free HTTPS, which is SSL certificate, and cPanel control panel. On the right, you can see the hosting was $119, but you have used the link in description I provided. So now you get big discount of $84. 
so it's cost you only $35 and then click on continue okay now we are on review page and then click on checkout now you need to fill all the information here your first name last name email address phone number everything here and then you need to enter the password if you want you can generate the password which is secure password copy to clipboard and insert so now we have the password here and then you need to choose a security question choose what is the name of your first pet and then you can write the answer so in future if you forget your username or password you can reset your password by giving answer of this question you have chosen now all done and then you can choose from multiple option credit card debit card paypal and there are multiple options here enter information then click on terms and condition then click on complete order okay so once you create your account and your hosting then you use something like this this is your main control panel we are not going to cover everything here but just we click on here cpanel login and now we go to second step of this woocommerce tutorial where we go install wordpress on our website so click here wordpress manager you can see i already so many website in your case you will not have any website here so you just need to click here on install and then choose the domain name from here which you already selected if you haven't choose a domain name you have chosen a temporary name you will see the temporary name here and then you need to enter username and password here that's it you do not need to do anything else and once done you just click here on quick install and your wordpress will be installed so once your new wordpress will be installed you will see the website here you can just click on login and you can log in into your wordpress website so now you are inside your wordpress admin panel so on the left side there are main options from where we will manage your website and there's so many information about your wordpress installation they're not really important i just close everything so it looks very neat and clean it will easy for us to understand things so now it looks much better okay now we is the third step of this video which will be the most important step we're going to add a theme on the website what is the theme for example if i show you this website if i click on this side you can see here this is the website there is nothing here but what we are going to do we are going to install a theme also we are going to import the complete website with products with complete home page contact page about page everything so hover on appearance and then click on themes and now click here on add new and then here you search cadence so we are going to use this theme it is already installed on my website so in your case you will see option here install and then you see the option activate so click on install and then you click on activate okay so the theme is installed you can see and now we have this message thanks for choosing cadence theme want to get started with beautiful starter template install the cadence starter template plugin to launch and optimize design in minutes this guy is going to save you a lot of time and you can create a professional website within few minutes so what we're going to do now we're going to click on activate cadence starter templates and you will see here now you can see here we have very few option post media pages comments appearance plugins user tool settings but when we're going to use the starter templates they're going to add all the plugins which we need to create this e-commerce website it's going to install woocommerce plugin it's going to install the payment plugins it's going to install the form plugins everything so this is going to save you a lot of time guys so click here on activate cadence starter template now this is really interesting we have two options here gutenberg and elementor guys i highly recommend you choose gutenberg page builder because this is a block builder which is really pushed by wordpress and in future it's going to be like really really huge and the best part about this gutenberg page builder it is very lightweight so what happens when you create a beautiful website website is beautiful you can see we have so many beautiful designs here but if you use elementor page builder from here the website going to load very slow because elementor page builder is very complicated i'm not saying that elementor cannot be fast you need to use lot of optimization on website i created a whole video how you can optimize your website when it is created by elementor page builder but this is my advice choose gutenberg page builder here so your website will be bloat free and have very lightweight from here from all choose the e-commerce template and then from here free and pro choose free only if you want you can choose different kind of templates from here because this tutorial apply to create any kind of website so if you want to create a photography website you can choose the template photography business event course blog political membership anything basically very same so for this tutorial and you can create any kind of website so now we are choosing a gutenberg e-commerce and free only and now we're going to scroll the page now we're going to use this template which is soap shop guys it says soap shop but you can use it to create any kind of website you can see here we have this beautiful logo here menu on couple of sides and then we have nice hero image here with beautiful headings and description and then explore product and if i scroll the page and then your beautiful section here we can define what is best in your products for example if you are selling tea or if you are selling some soaps if you are selling some skincare product you can say this chemical free it is made by bio or you can say it is local product and guys this tutorial is not just only about creating a website i'm going to give you a lot of insight about why we are adding these things on the website and which is the best way you can get most conversion on the website because you can create a website beautiful but if people don't buy and click on the things 
then there is no meaning of having the website. Okay, so you can see we have all these beautiful things here. And don't worry, this is not about soap. You can just change the images from any product you want to add on the website. I'm going to show you later how we can do all these things. And we have this section here, best ingredients. And we have a video button here. And then very beautiful box here. Guys, this is a small screen, so you cannot see the whole website. But once I will import the full website, I will show you how it looks. It looks real nice. And then we have a review section here. Guys, this is really important that you have review section on website for products because that really make people trust you. And then in the end, we have footer. Here logo is missing. We're going to add it and we're going to see why it is missing. So don't worry about it. And then click on full site. And you'll see this option import details. So basic current blocks is already installed. In your case, it will not be installed. And then you want to subscribe, you can enter your email to receive the important news about cadence template but i'm gonna use skip start importing and guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel because i create this amazing unique content which you will not find easily on youtube and all this content i create is like without wasting any of your time we talk point to point and i try to provide you as much information and knowledge as possible in a very short time so make sure you subscribe to the channel so i really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody who want to create their own website so content is important it's going to take few minutes okay done you can see this message here, finished view your site if i click on this button you can see we can put the complete website in just a couple of minutes and it looks really really nice i'm going to show you how we will edit the header and everything and i'm going to show you how we can work with this block editor which is really nice it's not so much different from elementor page builder elementor page builder is a little bit more advanced but we do not need to have so much complication when it comes to website speed and make it complicated. So that's why I chosen the block builder. So you can see it looks really nice when somebody hover here, the image kind of zoom and you have this section which comes up and people can see this add to cart button. So they can add the product directly to the cart and somebody click on all products, they can go to the all products and then there's this nice package here if you want to sell some package on your website or you can use for any purpose, just change the words and everything which I'm going to show you how you can do that. And then we have review section and then we have footer. And this is how this website looks in mobile devices. You can see this looks really nice. Everything is optimized. Nothing is breaking on the website when it's on mobile devices. You can toggle on menu and this beautiful menu comes out. And then you can see if I scroll the page, everything is perfectly arranged. Looks very nice. The colors are really amazing. Okay, so I'll go back to the desktop view. So if I click on shop, you will go to shop page. You can see this looks really, really beautiful. And we can see all the products here and some products which are on sale. You can see this notice that this product is on sale. And somebody click here on these three bars. They come into a list view and they can see a product in a list view. And if somebody click on a product, they will reach to the product page. You can see this looks real nice. Somebody hover, they can see the zoomed image. And we have add to cart button. And then we have all this information here. I will show you how to change all this information. And this is real nice, guys. It says guaranteed safe checkout, which makes People trust your website that it is safe checkout and people can buy Visa, MasterCard, MX, Discover by PayPal. This is really nice. It's really build the trust in people and they can pay on your website with trust and their description. And then we have related products here. And if I go to about, you can see this about page is created for you. It looks real nice. There is like code here. You can change it to what you want. And then you have the reason why they should choose your product. 100% organic, high quality, beautiful package change it to whatever you want and then we have contact page here you can see it looks really beautiful Your email address call us and you have question contact us the fonts everything looks really amazing normally you do not need to change anything everything is like perfect here and then you have nice form here and your map of your business and then we have blog page here so if somebody come to your website and you edit the blog post they can read all this blog post here if i click on read more I have this beautiful page created for blog post. Looks really, really beautiful. And then we have FAQ section. So FAQ here, you can add the common questions for your website. And then you have this nice form here. Guys, this is a really nice tricks. You need to implement these kind of things on your website. This really change your website from other website of your competitors. For example, we are here on FAQ and you see this form on the right. And they say, cannot find an answer, enter name, email and messages. So this is a really nice way to build trust with your customers and how you can beat the competition. Okay, now we have all the design here. We go to step four, which is the most important step, guys, which is customization of a website. So what we need to do is click here on customize. And now you have so many options here. If you click here, colors and fonts, and then you click on colors, you can change the colors for your website. You can just choose different kind of palettes for your website. If I choose palette two, which is predefined, you can see everything turns to orange color. Choose the color which is perfect with your products. 
If I choose palette three, it will little bit more darker in like blue color. Depending on business, you can change the colors here. And then we go back via option to choose buttons. You can choose the text colors for the buttons, background colors for the buttons. By default, it is selected here because we are choosing the palette three. What I will do, I'll just go back and do the palette one. And then we'll go back and go to buttons. You can see this is default selected. You can change to anything what you want. Even you can change the border radius of the buttons. You can see on the right side is a live view. They change directly. So choose which you are comfortable with and you can change everything. All the borders will be changed from here. So you don't need to go in every single element and change those one by one. And then you can change the font from here. Right now, inter font is selected. You can choose whichever font you want. If you want Italiana, you can change the font. Depending on your website project, you can change font which looks best. But I recommend you just to keep things simple because you're creating a website first time. Keep things simple and choose whatever comes with this theme and this starter template. Okay, so we'll go back and then with typography, you can change the fonts for your headings, H1, H2, H3. You can define the size of the fonts. And then we have header. Guys, it's really important. Just with this header, you can make multiple combinations of your header. You can see we have all this section here and bottom, you can drag it, you can change it to some other design. For example, if I want to move my logo to the left, I just drag it, drop it here. And you can see on the real time, my logo is here. And then if I want to move my secondary navigation here, I just move it here. Navigation here, not looking very good because there's not enough space. So I'll, what I will do, I'll move the search to the right side. And then what I will do, I'll move the secondary navigation next to primary navigation. Looks much better. So this is how you can manage header and you can make a lot of different combinations. And how you change the logo, just click here on logo. And then if this logo selected, then click on this icon. And then you can change logo for your website. If you want to increase and decrease the size of logo, you can do it from here. And when you click on primary navigation, you can select the menu from your website. And guys, do not try to understand everything. If this stuff is overwhelming for you, just follow the tutorial. Little by little, when you work on your website every day, you will understand all these things. Everything will make sense. So do not need to worry about what's happening. I know it can be really overwhelming when you try to create an e-commerce website. But just follow this tutorial, stop the video, try to implement things, learn things. And I have so many videos on my channel, you can go and watch those videos, which will make you everything very clear. Okay, so we covered header. Okay, then we have footer. We select the footer, it's the same way like we added the header. I just scroll the page and you can see this is like footer here. If you want to change the widgets, you can change their positions. I can move it here if I want. And then I move widget 3 to widget 2. And we have copyright here. If you want to change anything, you just click on the setting icon and you can change what's written there. Copyright 2023, 2024. So just by this, you can change the content of that widget. Just select that widget and then you go to this setting icon and you'll be able to change that widget. If I click here on categories, by default, the categories will be added here. If I want to change the categories, I choose this pencil icon and then you can see I have the, all the categories here. And then we have some general options for this theme here. So layout, how you want site to look. It's the maximum width of the website. If you want, you can decrease the width of the website. You can see here, it's changing. This section is not changing because it's full screen section. I can show you how to change that also, but this is the option for the general width of the website. So the elements which do not have full width, they will be changed when you set these options here. And then we have multiple options here. Just play with them and you'll see how these are reflecting on the website. Then we have sidebar images, scroll to top, breadcrumbs, social media links. We're not going to cover everything because that's gonna make the video really, really long. And these options like perfect. You don't need to change a lot of options. Yes, this option, social links, I rec highly recommend you to add your social links here. And guys, this is really important for SEO also. When you have your website social presence, that's really nice. And when people search your website, your social links comes first. So make sure you create an account on social media if you do not have already accounts. And then all these links here. And then we have performance. I highly recommend you to use this option, load Google fonts locally and preload fonts. And then enable CSS preload. Really nice option to increase your website performance. And whenever you change any option, just don't forget to click on publish here. So it will publish the changes. And guys, we have then so many options here, but these options are not really important. You can leave everything like this. Okay, we'll come back to the website. Now let me show you how you can edit the website pages. To edit your website, what you need to do is click here on edit page and you'll go in editing mode. And we are working with block builder. So every element is a block, which is really nice to have fast website. So if you select a section here, just by click on the section or what you can do, you can use these three lines here, which will open list view. For example, I click on this arrow. It will show me that there are two sections inside this row layout. So this is the first row layout. 
If I click on this one, this is a big row layout and then there is a section here and there is second section. If I click on arrow one more time here, you can see we have this advanced text. When I hover in it, it's already selected. The second one and I select the third one, there is third text here. This is small screen guys, that's why looking a little bit like this, but when you see this in like desktop or laptop, everything will be really nicely organized. Okay, so I'll just close this option so we have more space on the page. So what we need to do is to change any text here, just click on the text and then you can start writing. Or what you can do, you can delete everything and you can add your new text. So this is how you change the text on the website. And what we'll do if you want to change this big image here, just click on this box outside and then you can click on the list view and then click on row layout. And then click on this settings button here and you will have all the options to change this row. I'll just close this list view so we have more space on the page. And then to change this background, click here on style. So if I click here on edit image, either I can choose any image from media library or you can upload a new image. For example, if I want to add this image here, I just select this image and then click on select and our image is changed just like this. And there is a nice option. You can choose this option to change the alignment of image, how it will look on the page. Just by dragging this, you can change how you can arrange this image to be displayed. Okay, so this is how you can change the image. For example, if you want to add a new button here. So what you can do here, this is really important for you guys. This is a block inserter. You click on this plus icon and there are a lot of blocks which come with Cadence theme. You can see all these blocks, they come with Cadence theme which are very beautiful. And when you hold a block, you can see how it will look. You can see advanced text. This looks something like this. And then you count up. If you want to add Google Maps, you can add the Google Maps. And on the bottom, the default blocks come with the Gutenberg editor or block editor. So for example, I want to add a button. I'll just search a button and I drop it here. You can see the new button is added. And if I don't want this text, I just click on this text. Then these three dots and I scroll here and remove advanced text. And to add the text on the button, just click add text and then you can write click me. And that's it. If you want to add a hyperlink or link, just click link here and then you can type any link which is going to your website or outside from your website and then just hit enter. So the new button is added here. Okay, so this is how you add this section. To change the images, just click on the image and then click here on replace and then you can open media library or what you can do, you can upload a new image. So if I go to media library, and if I use this image and click on select, so you can see the image is changed here. Same thing I can do to change any image on this website. Okay, so let's move to this section, which is best seller product of this week. You can just click on any text and change this text to whatever you want. And we have these products here. So what you can do, you can just click on this product section and then click on this pencil icon. What you can do, you can handpick the products which you want to display here. So you will see the list of all products on your website. When you import this, Style template, you will see all the products came with the theme. But in your case, you don't want to use this product. You want to add your own products. So I'll show you how to add the products. So once you add your own products, you will see all these products here. I'm going to show you very soon how you can add your own products. And once you select the products which you want to display, you can click on done. And the products you selected, they will be shown here. Same thing to edit anything, you just select the thing and then you can edit it very easily. And when you don't understand what thing you have selected, just use this list view. This is really helpful. And you can see where are you. So if I'm here on section and then you can see I'm a testimonial if I select testimonial then I can just edit it change to anything what I want. Then your big testimonial here I just select this and then you can see I can edit all the testimonial what you want you can just remove all the text and add the new text here very easy and guys this is the base if you learn to edit the elements like this you can create any kind of website not just cadence themes. It's the base of block editor. So once you have learned how to work with block editor, you can create any website. Okay, I think we understand how to edit the website and pages. Now let me show you which is very important how to add the products to the website. You will see this option of products and then click on all products. Right now because all these products, they are sample products, you do not need them. So what we will do, just click here and then bulk actions and move to trash and then apply. Now we do not have any products. So what we will do, we will add the first product here. If you see this message WooCommerce update required, just update WooCommerce database. That's just to keep things updated and keep your website safe. And then click on add new. So this is the page where we can add our products. So let's start creating the first product. So this is a step four to add real products on your website. So we'll start with a very simple product, which is soap. Then you can add the real text for your product, which you want to sell on your website. And then we'll scroll here. So this is the thing guys here. 
So now you have to choose between different products. So this is simple product which people can just buy on your website. And you click here, there are group products where you can group different products, the external affiliate products, and the variable products. And if you click here on downloadable, you can even add products which people can download. For example, you want to sell an ebook, you can click on downloadable and then you can add the URL of the file. So when somebody pay for it, they can download the file directly. But we are creating a very simple product, so we'll just keep it simple product. And then you can add a regular price, for example, let's say $100. And then if you want to keep this product on sale, you just add the sale price. If I say 50, so this product is now on sale 50%. And when I click on inventory, you can give a SQ for the product just to keep things in track. If you are selling a lot of products and every product got a different SQ. SQ is like a identification of the products. And then you can choose the stock management. For example, you save 100 soaps. So whenever somebody buy the soaps, this stock will go down and you will know how many soaps you will have in your stock. And then allow back orders. I will say to everything leave just like this. Because guys, if you're creating a website first time, I want you to keep things simple. You learn with time, but right now you must keep things simple. Next thing what we need to do is set product image. And then you can choose any image. For example, this is soap image. I'll set the product image. So this is a product image. And then you need to add product gallery images. So choose different images for your products. So for example, I choose these three images and then add to gallery. And now you need to add categories. For example, this category is soap. If you want to create a new category, if for example, you're selling some clothes, you can add jeans here and then click on add new category. And so for example, if the product is a jeans, you can select this category. In our case, we're not going to add this one because this is soap, but I shown you how you can add a new category. And here you can write product short description, which will display on various places. For example, this is a short description of this product and this is a detailed description of the product. So short description will appear here and some other places on the website. So make sure you don't forget to add the short description of the product here. If you want to add some tags here, you can add some tags here. For example, I say skin tag and you can give comma to add multiple tags here and then click on add. So now this tag for this product is skincare. And guys, that's it. This is good news. All you need to do to create a new product on your website. Then I click on publish. And now if I click on this link, you can see we just add this product and there are four beautiful images of the product here. And if somebody who owns this image, they can see the large image. Okay. So one more important thing, we have so many options here. You see this text here, free shipping over $50, satisfaction guaranteed, no hassle refunds, and all these things. Let me show you how we can change these things. So what we'll do, we'll click here on customize, and then we'll scroll here, and we'll go to WooCommerce. To change those things, what we need to do, we need to click on single product layout, and then we can choose what kind of layout we want. There are different layouts here. You can just change it, and you can have different layouts. If I change something like this, you can see the layout is always changing. So choose which one you want. So I'll keep it to the default one, which is normal one. And then what you need to do is, I'll go to product elements. So when I go to product elements, you can see there's all the product elements are here. There's category, which is like hidden. If I toggle, you will see, you will see the category will be added here. So, so I'll keep it unchecked because we already have category here. And guys, don't be confused, this is a category. And even the product name is soap. I should have given some other name, but you understand this one is category and this is the product name. And then we have title, you can see the title here. And then we have rating because we do not have any rating for this product, nobody bought it, so we cannot see rating here. And then we have price and then we have extra up here because we haven't added anything, so that's why you cannot see here. And then we have add to cart button, so you can choose different size for it, for example, normal size. And then we have medium large size and then we have last size. Depending what you like, you can choose different kind of buttons here. Okay, then we have extras here. So now you want, you can change the text from here. Instead of free shipping over $50, you can change to anything else. And then you have these features here. So you can change the features from here, satisfaction guaranteed, you can change to something else, whatever you want. For example, you can say buy a product. And then if you can choose the icon also from here. Instead of this icon, you can use this icon or this icon, or you can this icon. Like same way you can change all these icons from here. If you want to add more feature, you can add fourth and fifth feature also here. And then we have payments here. What you can see here, guaranteed safe checkouts. If I want to change, I just change it to anything. I can say it pays with multiple options and then it will change. And then you can choose different cards, whatever you are accepting on your website. So for example, if I don't want to accept MX card, I just hide it. So MX card will be gone from the right side. And we have product meta and share. If I toggle on this one, this category and tag will be gone from here. They will cannot see it. And then we have share button here. Okay, and then we have related products column here. So we can change it to like different columns here. Right now we cannot see any related products because we have deleted all the products. And we have just one product 
on the website but when we add more products you will can see the related columns option here and you can choose how many products you want to display here okay so you understand how to add products on the website next step we will set up the shipping of the products on the website so what we'll do we'll hover on woocommerce then we'll go to settings so when you go to settings you can manage all the important settings for your website so you need to add your address your city and everything here and you need to select your countries you're selling for example you're selling to sell to specific countries and then you can select the countries from here i can select united states so now i'll sell only in united states depending on your product where you want to sell it you can choose the countries from here and then shipping location also where you want to ship it, ship to all countries or ship to only specific countries. You can choose the option from here. If you want to give users the option to use coupons, you can do that from here. I suggest you when you create a website first time, you can leave everything like this because you're just launching your store. You don't want it like really huge thing for now, which make everything really complicated. First step is to set up your store, get things running, and then you can edit all this option. And make sure guys, you subscribe to the channel because I create so many videos. And in future, I'm going to make a lot of WooCommerce video very soon so you can understand all these options in detail and then we have products here everything you can leave just like this and then we go to shipping so you can see here shipping zone is geographic region where certain set of shipping methods and rate supply if you have a digital product you're selling ebook or something downloadable you can sell it to worldwide and you not need to use shipping zones but for now what we're going to do we're going to add the shipping zone for example i will say this shipping zone united states and then i select the region so i select united states and then you can add the shipping method so you can charge a flat rate from the customers for the shipping for now i'll show you flat rate and then i'll show you other options also click on add shipping method so shipping method is added so what you can do make sure it is enabled and then click on edit then you can see how much you want to charge for the shipping for example i say ten dollars and then click on save changes so now when somebody will order inside united states there will be ten dollars of shipping cost to deliver that product what else you can do click on add shipping method once again and then click on free shipping and then add shipping method and now click on edit minimum order amount in most of the cases minimum order is the best option so what you can do if somebody order more than 200 dollars of products for your website they will get the free shipping and then click on save changes so now we have this two option website flat rate everybody who want to order something less than 200 dollars they will pay 10 dollars if somebody buy more than 200 dollars they'll get the free shipping so that's how you add the shipping on your website Okay, now let's come to the most important next step, which is payments. So you can see there are multiple options here, direct bank transfer, check payments and cash and delivery. And when you scroll here, you can see recommended payment providers. So when you click here, discover the payment providers, you'll find multiple options. If you click here, you'll go to the WooCommerce extension. You can see all the providers here and you can choose your country where you are. For example, I choose United States. So then I can see all the payment providers. Stripe is one of the most common and popular payment gateway. So I just select Stripe and there is a page for Stripe. You can watch this small video or what else you can do. You can go here on plugins and click on add new and then you can search here Stripe and you will find this option of WooCommerce Stripe payment gateway. So this is by WooCommerce. So you can trust this official plugin by WooCommerce. It do not have so nice ratings, but it's really easy to set up. So I recommend you to install this plugin. Click on install now. So when it's installed, click on activate. And guys, by any point, if you think I'm speaking very fast, you can go to YouTube settings and make the speed of the video less. If you're thinking I'm speaking very slow, you can make the video faster. Now we have the plugin installed. We'll go back on WooCommerce and we'll go back to settings and then we'll come back to payments. Okay, now you can see we have so many options here. We have like Stripe, credit card, Stripe, direct debit and so many options here. So what I'll suggest you, use this option, Stripe, credit card, enable this option. And now you need to create or connect the account here or what you can do you can enter account keys let me show you how you can create an account the click on create or connect an account and then you need to enter email and then you continue choose a password and then continue then you need to enter some information regarding your business and everything so once you create a stripe account you'll come back here then click on finish setup and you'll find the account keys there click here enter account keys and you need to enter the keys which you'll find in your stripe account that's it you can close this option and you are ready to sell products on your website and there's one more popular option which is paypal i do not recommend paypal so much because they take a lot of fees but still if you want to get some orders and make the payment on your website you can use the paypal payments to add paypal payments we'll do the same thing go to plugins click add new and then we we'll search here paypal and we we'll find this another plugin woocommerce paypal payments again very bad ratings but i recommend you it's like easiest thing what you can do 
So just click on install now. And once installed, click on activate. So plugin is activated, you'll go back again to WooCommerce and settings. Then go to payments and you will see this option here, PayPal. Enable this option. And when you enable this option, you can click on activate PayPal. It may ask you to clear the capture. So clear the capture. So you need to have a PayPal account here. So already created the PayPal account. I'm not going to show you how to create it. This video is going to be really long. Click on next and you can follow this. So once you have done this, you will be successfully activated the PayPal payment on your website. So guys, we are doing really good. We set up everything. We create the whole website. We create the products. We set up the shipping. We set up the general option. We set up the payment method. That's it what you need to do on your basic website. And now somebody come to a website. I just change it to a different view. They can come here and then they can add to cart. They will see this option here. It is add to cart. Either what they can check the cart by clicking view cart and then people can change the quantities. If they want to, they can add coupon code also. I'm going to create a separate video to coupon code because I think this tool is going to be real long because not everybody is going to add coupon code when they start their new business. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when I create those videos. And then people can click on proceed to checkout. They can enter the details here. You can see that no every payment matters for its type. But like I told you in this step in WooCoff submitting, when, when you have PayPal payments activated and your type activated, it's connected and they can order from your website. And guys, one more important thing for WooCom part, I think this is real nice. You already successfully created a real nice website, but I want to give you a real nice tip. There's some important plugins which you need to install on your website because you create a website, but keep it safe. So some plugins which you really need to install your website from the day one. I'm going to show which plugins are those. And if you want to watch the detailed videos, you can check the description of the videos. So the first plugin you need is WordFence plugin. So you need to install this plugin on your e-commerce website. Click on install now and activate this. This is going to keep your website really, really safe. Second plugin you need is Updraft Plus Backup plugin. Updraft Plus Backup, it created the backup of your website. I created a whole video about it. You can check the description of the video. I hope you liked the video and you're able to create your e-commerce website. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody who wants to create their own e-commerce website. If you have any questions or any query, comment down. I answer all the comments on my channel. And guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate that because these tutorials are free and they take a lot of time to create. And save this video to watch later. And if you want to watch another interesting video how to create WordPress website, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how to get 100 out of 100 for PageSpeed Insight, check out this other video on screen.